Hi, today we're going to see how to make a letter A logo design in game. So first we need to create a new image, go to File, New. The image width is 1920 and the height is 1080, press OK. And now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. And now select the text tool. The font I'm using is Arial Black. So left click here to create a new text box. And now I'm going to type A. And then Control A to select all letters here, the, the letter A. And then I'm going to change the font size to 1000. So here it is, press Enter. And now select the Alignment tool. Left click on the text layer. And then align it horizontally and then vertically. And now I'm going to add Guide here. So I'm going to press the plus key on my keyboard to zoom in to be more precise. Then here, like this. And then just drag guide here from up here. So like this, I want to make it. So I'm going to remove this one here. Image guides, remove all guides. I want to place it just at the bottom here. So here like this. And now let's just scroll to the left. And now select the Paths tool. And now I'm going to create a path here, in the left corner here, this one here. Make sure, go to View. Make sure the Snap to Guides here is checked. And then just, I'm just going to left click here to create a new path here. So as you can see, it snaps to the guide. And then I'm going to create one in the middle here, like this. And now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. And now I'm going to and now I'm going to link this path here with the first one to close the path here. So keep the control key down here and then left click here. So here it is. And now I'm just going to move this one here. I'm going to move it here like this. And now press enter. And now I'm going to delete this selection. So press the delete key on your keyboard. So here it is. And now I'm going to zoom in, press the plus key on your keyboard to zoom in. I'm going to drag this path here from the left corner. I'm going to drag it to the right corner. So here, so as you can see, it slides on the guide here because we checked the snap to guides here. So press the plus key here to be more precise. So I think I'm going to leave it here. And now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out and then press enter so as you can see it made selection here from the new path here and now i'm going to create a new transparent layer so click on this icon here fill it with transparency and then press ok and now i'm just going to fill this selection with black so just drag the black color and now if you want to remove the path just select another tool and now I'm going to remove the selection, so go to Select, None. And now I'm going to hide the new layer we just created, this one here. And now I'm going to remove this part from the letter here, this triangle. So press the plus key on your keyboard to zoom in. And for that, I'm going to use the Free Select tool. Make sure you're selecting the layer with the A letter. Select the Free Select tool. And then I'm just going to left click here. So make sure in the tool options that the mode is replace the current selection. So like this, I'm going to create selection from here. Try to make it straight here like this. If you made a mistake, just press the backspace here. So here it is. And then I'm going to press the backspace another time. So here it is, and now I'm just going to make selection of this triangle like this. And then I'm going to close this selection and then press enter. And now press the delete key. So I'm going to press the minus key on the keyboard. So here it is. And now just press the delete key on your keyboard. So here it is. Go to select none. And now I'm going to show the other layer like this. And now I'm going to remove the guide. So go to image. 
guides, remove our guides, and now select the top layer here. I'm going to merge it with the A letter here. So click on this icon here to merge down. So now I'm going to center this layer here. In order to do so, I'm going to crop the layer to its content. So go to layer, crop to content, select the alignment tool, left click, and then make sure the align is related to the image, align it horizontally and then vertically. So select the move tool. I'm just going to move it a little bit to the left here. So I think I'm going to leave it like this. And then right click, layer to image size. And now I'm going to change the color of the upper part. So in order to do so, right click on the letter here, alpha to selection. And then select the free select tool. Make sure on the tool options with the free select tool, the mode is subtract from the current selection. And then I'm just going to draw around the path here. I, I want to remove from this selection with the free select tool like this. So here like this. And then let's close the selection. So here it is and I'll press enter. And now this is the remaining part. And now I'm going to change the foreground and background colors. So select the foreground color, select double click on the HTML notation. And now I'm going to type the color I want, 271. So I made the mistake, E7, 717, e press enter. And now press OK. And for the background color, click on the background color, double click on the HTML notation. And now I'm going to type 450202, press enter, and then press OK. Select the gradient tool, make sure the shape is linear, and the gradient is FG to BG RGB, foreground to background RGB. And then I'm just going to trace like this. So I'm going to place the darker red here in the bottom. So you can either switch between the foreground and background or just click here like this. So I'm going to drag it like this. So I think I'm going to leave it like this and now press enter. Now go to select, none to remove the selection. And now I'm going to add drop shadow to this logo here. So go to filters light and shadow, drop shadow. So I'm just going to leave the settings as they are. So just press OK. And now I'm going to change the color of the white background here. So select the white background. I'm going to hide the logo here. So click on these two squares here to make the background and foreground white and black. And now I'm going to select the black one here. And then I will select gray color so double click on the html notation and then the color i'm going to use is cf 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 press enter and then press ok select the gradient tool again the shape make the shape radial so here it is and now i'm just going to drag here from the center like this and then i'm just going to make the white in the center and the gray outside so just like this so here, I think I'm going to leave it like this, press enter, and then I'm going to show the logo here. So here it is, and then right click, view from visible. And so here it is. That's how you can create the letter A logo designing game. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and uh, till next time.